Welcome back to our day four, all about monomial properties. So our goal for today, you will be able to use monomials to add, subtract, multiply, divide, and raise to a power. All right, so let's take a look. First things first, let's review what is a monomial. So a monomial has only one term that combines coefficient and variables with multiplication. So here's an example of a monomial, negative seven x squared y raised to the sixth power. Since everything is together, there's no addition or subtraction. This is one term. It is all together. All right, so let's take a look. So part one, adding and subtracting monomials. Okay, so here's the helpful hint. You only combine if they have the same exponent. Okay, so it has to have the same variable and the same exponent. So let's take a look at number one. So if I take a look here, I have, I'm starting with 5x. Now if I look carefully, is there another x to the first power? Nope. So that does not combine with anything. So 5x. Next, I'm going to take a look. I have 7x squared. And if I take a look, there's another x squared right here. So I can combine these because they have the same variable and the same power. Now when I add them, I add the coefficients. So 7 plus a negative 4 gives me a positive 3, and the exponent in the power stays the same. Then if I take a look next, I have a negative 6y plus 3y. When I combine those, negative 6 plus 3 is a negative 3y. And with that, we've combined as much as we can. All right, let's take a look at the next one. So here we have some parentheses. So using our order of operations, the first things that we want to do is we want to go ahead and get rid of the parentheses. So I'm going to distribute into the parentheses. So 4 times 2x is going to give me 8x. 4 times negative 5 is negative 20. Now if I take a look here, outside of the parentheses is actually a negative 2, not just a 2, a negative 2. So negative 2 times 3x is negative 6x. And negative 2 times a negative 6 gives me a positive 12. Now I'm going to combine my like terms. So if I look carefully, here I have an 8x and a negative 6x. And I can combine those to give me a 2x. And then I have a negative 20 and a positive 12, so together that gives me a negative 8. And that is my final answer. Okay, if we take a look at number 3, it says subtract 6x squared plus 5x minus 10 from this quantity. So remember, whenever you see the word from, you start with what comes after the word from. Now these are polynomials. Polynomials are quantities, and quantities go into parentheses. So I'm going to put parentheses around these. So I'm going to start with 2x squared minus 6x minus 7, and I'm going to subtract 6x squared plus 5x minus 10. Now the first thing I have to do is distribute to get rid of my parentheses. So in front of here is just a positive 1. So when I distribute that, everything stays the same. But over here, I'm going to distribute a negative one. There's really a one in front, and it's negative. So when I distribute that, it's going to change all the signs. This has become a negative 6x squared, negative 5x, and a negative negative becomes a positive 10. Now when I combine my like terms, x squared and x squared, I'm going to get a negative 4x squared. I have a 6x and a negative 5x, so together that gives me a negative 11x. And then negative 7, positive 10 gives me a positive 3. And that's what we need to know about adding and subtracting our monomials. Okay, next up, we have multiplying our monomials. So when you multiply, you might also hear the word product. So product means we're multiplying together. So when we multiply, we're going to multiply the coefficients, the number in front, and we're going to add the exponents of the like terms. So let's take a look here at number one. So here we're multiplying because the parentheses are touching. So the first thing I'm going to do is multiply the coefficients. So that's the negative 2 and the negative 5, which gives me a positive 10. Now for the variables, I'm going to add the exponents of the like terms. So here I have an x. This x is to the first power, 
this x is to the third power, so together they give me the fourth power. And then my y's, y to the third, y to the second, we add three plus two is five. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. So here we have multiplication again. The first thing we want to do is multiply the coefficients, which in this case are fractions. Okay, so we have negative two, or sorry, positive two thirds times a positive four ninths. Now, when you multiply fractions, you multiply the numerators and then the denominators. So two times four is eight over three times nine is 27. Okay, and then we're going to add the exponents of the like terms. So x squared, x to the fifth, so two plus five is seven y to the third, y to the seven becomes y to the 10. And we've got it. All right, let's take a look then at number six. x to the fourth, now x, if there's no power, there's really a power of one, and x to the third. So really, if there's no coefficient, there's really a coefficient of one. So one times one times one is just one. x times four, x times one, so four plus one is five plus three, is eight, so this is really x to the eight. Okay, and we can do the same thing here. As long as the base is the same, that's kind of like having the same variable. So since this is three, 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 I can keep it as a three, and we add the exponents. Two and five make seven, plus four is 11, and we've got it. All right, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna hit pause right now. I'm gonna have you answer this next one all by yourself. All right, let's go ahead and double check. Did you get 18 x to the third, y to the five? All right, let's go ahead now that we know how to add, subtract, and multiply. The next section is gonna to be to raise a monomial to a power. So here's our helpful hint. Write out as many times as the power and multiply. So for instance, here I have three x squared, y to the third, so this is the whole quantity raised to the second power. That means I'm going to take the parentheses and I'm going to write it as many times as the power. So the power is 2, so I'm going to write this 2 times. Now we're going to follow the same rules as we just did for multiplication. So we're going to multiply. 3 times 3 is 9. x to the 4, I'm sorry, x to the second, x to the second gives me x to the 4. And y to the third, y to the third is going to give me y to the sixth and you've just raised the monomial to a power. So let's go ahead and try the second one. So now we're gonna write it out five times. So two, a five, b to the four. Okay, and then I'm gonna multiply. So two times two times two times two times two. So if you want to, we can go to the calculator. Well, if something like this comes up on your screen, you don't want this. The way you get out of it is you hit, so there's a quit button here in blue. So you hit the second button and then you hit the quit button. Okay, now I have a blank screen. So two, one, two, three, four, five which is also the same thing as to raise to the fifth button. Now to raise to a power, you're gonna use this button here underneath the clear button, which is called the caret or a raise to button. And then you type in a five and that is gonna give us the same answer. So we have 32. Now A, we have a five, 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 five. So five plus five plus five plus five plus five gives me 25. And then B, we have four plus four plus four plus four plus four. So there's four five times, which gives me 20. And we've got it. Okay, up next, let's take a look here. So this is a little bit of a challenge. So here we're going to take the first parenthesis, we're gonna write it twice. So W to the third, W to the third times, and over here we're gonna go W to the fourth, W to the fourth. And let's see what happens. So here we're going to add the exponents, so w to the sixth times w to the eighth, but wait, these are both w, so we can combine them to get w to the 14th, and we've got it. All right, last section for today, dividing monomials. So here's the rule for division. 
You're going to simplify the coefficients, which is also reducing the fraction. You're going to subtract the exponents and keep the variable where the higher power is located. So let's try this out. So x to the 8 divided by x squared. So I'm going to rewrite this as a fraction. x to the 8 divided by x squared. So the coefficients are both 1s, so that stays 1. x to the 8, x squared, so we subtract. 8 minus 2 is x to the 6, and we've got it. All right, let's go to the next one. So 18 over 4, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to reduce. Now let's say you're not the greatest at reducing fractions. Well, your handy-dandy calculator can help you out. So we're going to go 18 divided by 4, you're going to hit Enter and it's gonna give you a decimal. Now everybody, I want you to hit the math button, math, and if you look at number one, it says frac, so that's fraction. So it's gonna take the answer and turn it back into a fraction. We hit enter, and it becomes nine over two. So this gives us nine over two. Now we're gonna take a look at your variables. So here is a to the third, and this down here is a to the one. Now, since a to the third is higher, the a stays in the top, and 3 minus 1 is 2. Then we go to the b's, b squared, b to the fifth. Now, 5 is bigger than 2, and 5 is in the bottom, so the b stays in the bottom. And then 5 minus 2 is 3, so we put the 3 there. And there's your final answer. All right, let's take a look now at the bottom ones. See if I can clear this up a little bit. There we go. Okay, so if we take a look here at number 14, we see that we have, it is a polynomial, it's actually a trinomial on the top, divided by 6x squared. Now, that means I need to divide everything in the top by 6x squared. So this is actually three fractions in one. So 24x to the six over 6x squared. 18x to the fourth over 6x squared. Plus 6x squared all over 6x squared. Okay, so let's go ahead and divide. 24 divided by six is four. And then we subtract x to the six minus x squared gives me x to the fourth. Okay, minus 18 divided by 6 is 3. x to the 4 divided by x squared, you're going to subtract, and we get x squared. The top is bigger than the bottom, so we just subtract. And then plus, now 6x squared, 6x squared, everything's going to cancel. But remember, in division, when it cancels, you get a positive 1. And here's our final answer. Okay, last question for today. Let's give it a try. So let's take a look here. We have 12 over negative 16. So I'm going to let the calculator help me again. So 12 divided by, now the negative sign oops, is actually way down here. So this is the negative. So negative, okay, and then 16. And then we hit enter. Then I'm going to hit the math, frac, which is 1, hit 1, enter and we should get negative three over four. So this is the same thing as negative three all over four. Okay, now let's take a look at the variables. So here we have a to the second power, a to the third power. So the third power is bigger, so the a stays in the bottom, and three minus two is one, so we just get the power of one. y to the third over y to the third, so those are gonna cancel. Then we have z to the third, z to the first, so z is bigger in the top, it stays in the top, and three minus one is two. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you've just completed today's lesson. The last thing that I'd like you to do is in your calculators, I'd like you to try to reduce this fraction. I'd like you to try to reduce 40x to the third divided by 55x squared. Have a great night, everyone. See you in class tomorrow.